All right, guys, this is Matt from Creative. It's here. Look at these boxes first. I just want to show you. These are beautiful little boxes. This is Ripple, and this is their new Passion Limited Edition flavor. Also, by the way, everybody's been asking, what do these get shipped in? Do they look like normal? They come in just little packages like this. Like, don't worry about it. It's a nondescript package. It looks nice. It's red because Passion is also red, but that's what it comes in, so don't worry about it, guys. All right, so we're going to open these up, these beautiful little packages. I'm assuming the bigger box is the max unit. Oh, I destroyed. Great job. I am opening this. What does this look like? Look at that. The box is beautiful. Like, I know, you know the traditional ones, you know all the traditional flavors, but look at this. This is passion. And what is passion? Rose Aroma, Shishandra, and Mondia Whitey Aromic Diffuser. I don't, I barely know, ooh. I barely know any of those words. Look at that. That is beautiful. That's also the thumbnail, because look at the gradient on this, and we're so bright right now. A thousand puffs, zero nicotine, 2023 batch harvest. And you know what? This one is, is smelling fresh. And there is one thing that I have. Like I have I sometimes have issues with floral scents. They just don't they don't hit with me. But the scent in this is less kind of soapy, because that's what it kind of feels to me sometimes with uh, floral scents. But this is just it's refreshing. And look at this. Little temporary tattoos. What does it say? Ripple style temporary tattoos. It's a pack of like a few. We're gonna take a look at this at the end. And what else do we have here? Oh, this is really cute. What, what is this? Oh, is it more? It's stickers. All right, so every once in a while I get stickers in these packages. This is the beautiful like Ripple logo with the flower. These are cool. I have an iPad that I can put these on, so that's what I'll do. All right, before we try it, this one has to be the pods. Yep, so if you want a comparison between the look of these things, just the, the way, oh man, the gradient on this is what makes the look of this work. Passion and passion, pods and max. And if you want to pause on the back, uh, you can take a screenshot and you can take a look at all the information there. So we're going to be trying the max unit out. And if you, like, you don't have to ever cut this. By the way, you can just kind of squeeze this and you can pull the device out if you don't want to go through a lot. It's really easy to do that. So we have this sealed up here in a nice package. And it's, yeah, it smells, oh, that's beautiful. All right, so before I show you this beautiful little image, you take the top off here, you peel this bottom part here, you peel to puff. So now it's ready, but look at this. Do you see the tiny little rose? I wanna make sure that that is in focus. That is beautiful. That is a beautiful looking, there's the ripple, there's the rose. It just looks very, very simple. And you have this nice red in the side, almost the same kind of red as the, uh, the power. I would say a little bit deeper, if I had to say. Let's see. That's different. It's not overwhelmingly sweet. Whoa, whoa, okay. This is one of those first ones where I had a flavor going in and I hadn't really exhaled fully because you can sometimes get a stronger hit on the way out. But as it was there, it tasted different. It's nice. Now, I, I did say my favorite flavor, which is a limited edition, so they're not making it right now, is Bliss. And Bliss had this really fruit flavored kiwi uh, flavoring in it. There is a touch of that, like the hint of that back in the back of my throat. But I do get, 
on the way out, I get this kind of sensation of floral. Floral in general, because for me, I know when people smell flowers outside, like, oh, this smells like a rose, this smells like a tulip. For me, um, just because of whatever my senses are, I kind of smell the same thing. It all smells about the same to me. So when I say floral, it's just a generalization because I'm pretty bad at explaining exactly which flower it is. Of course, I would say it has to be rose aroma because that's what we have here on the packaging. But it's a nice floral, like, it's kind of hard to find very quiet spaces in New York City. But there is one, I believe, in the West Village or close to Soho where there is this there is this park where you can kind of sit, you can talk to the locals. Um, it's beautiful. They have monuments and structures all around. It's not very big, but it's a place where you can sit down and you can be quiet and there are flowers around you. And this is the first time I had that sensation um, in a long time since being there. Um, I don't travel outside. I don't go upstate as much as I really should. I said I don't travel outside of the state as much as I should. So, you know, I'm here in the city. I'm kind of getting the brunt of the city. But this is something, and it's key to what a lot of these scents do, is they remind you of something that you had in your past. And if it's something that was a good memory, this is, it's a good link. Yeah, it does have that kind of like, I don't know, whatever was in Bliss as the kiwi scent, it has that kind of sweetness, but not overwhelmingly on the way out. And I really, really like that because it's just chill. I would say it's the perfect spring scent. It is not citrusy. It's not super fruity. It's not like a hard summer scent, a beach scent. This is a spring flower scent. So let's try this the other way and let's blow through and let's see what this smells like because usually the smell is a little bit creamier. Oh wow, that is, okay, first it is a creamier scent and the way I describe it, I hope, I hope you guys understand, creamier just means thicker, robust, robust less kind of minty because a lot of the uh, new formulated flavors have a little bit of a coolness to them. But when you smell this, I feel like I'm in a, a warm flower shop. I get that rose scent. I get, I get that flower scent. It's really, really calming. And this may be the first device where I'm thinking I like the personal diffuser part over the uh, flavor part because I'm used to smelling flowers rather than tasting them. I know, of course, you, you can incorporate rose into a lot of things, you know, face sprays and all that, but the smell of this, it really, really feels nice. It's calming. It is so calming. I would say it is maybe a little bit over what lavender is. Lavender is just naturally a very calming presence of a device. But this is just, for me, it feels more like, okay, I like rose. I can get into this and the scent is literally just around me here. This is like a nice calming thing. I would say, again, limited edition, Grab this as soon as you can. And by the way, I want to say, we have had like a, a code for the entire time. It used to be Matt 10. Now it's going to be Creative 10 as of June 1st. Actually, as of now, if you guys want to use Matt 10 or Creative 10, Matt 10 is going away um, on June 1st. And Creative 10, all one word, that's beginning. That's already begun, so that's already out there. So... Use Creative 10, you get 10% off everything on the website. That definitely helps out you guys. But wow, passion. I'm trying to think because it's been in the past and I may have skipped over it this time. Passion is not what I'd think about this. I would, I would say more, for me, calm. 
calm. I know red roses, I know that has a lot to do with passion, and maybe, maybe this will work with you in that way. But for me, whenever I smell flowers, whenever I have that kind of ambiance around me, I think of just calmness. I think of ba being back in Virginia where there's more like kind of wildlife and you can walk around and I get more of a sense of calm. Just really a nice presence. Yeah, definitely creamy flowers on the way, like as a diffuser and a little bit of a cool coolness um, with a little bit of a sweetness with a lot of that rose aroma scent um, as a, an inhaled product. But all right guys, if you guys have any comments, questions, anything, put it in the comment section below. Don't forget I'm on Instagram at m8b9. You can email me at matt8b9 at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, go and pick up Passion, their limited edition scent. I think it's completely worth it. And again, look at that gradient box. It's beautiful because just like any flower, perfectly nice and red, and it usually tones down into the stem. So they did a great job at what a plant and what a rose really is. And look at that there on the back. All right, guys, thank you so much. I'll see you next time.